Right, so so you, I'm guessing you did your two I did years. two years. So and how then, much? But how much extra work do you have to do? I mean, I've I've watched I watched Last Chance You, but of course I never experienced it for myself. So I'm not sure what you actually have to do in a JUCO to get it's into the, a the, NCAA or a, a four year college. Right, the credits that you need, the cumulative credits that right. you need, and that's what's funny because you come in as a freshman, and that first semester is kind of a wash because it's like none of these credits transfer or go to your degree what you need to transfer right so you know that's kind of what put you behind the eight ball a little bit because then that next semester you had to really take a lot of classes and you know i've been out a year and now you know i i gotta go to this class walk across campus over here mm -hmm. and over here it was it was new but at the same time i knew i had to do that to transfer now, what was cool about my experience is that in high school, my mom would let me have friends over. Right. We would hang out, you know, we would, you know, relax, do what teenagers did. So by the time I got to college, it wasn't nothing new for me. People are like, oh my God, we got free time. We're oh, going okay. to do this. We're you. going to yeah. do that. And I'm like... Well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and finish this little homework I got because I'm trying to transfer out of here. Right. I had I had caught on to the big picture. Right. And I was seeing other guys just, you know, nah, we're gonna do this, that, and the other. And I'm like, well, it's nothing special. We can do that tomorrow, mm -hmm. next weekend, the next day. You know, so to make a long story short, I was I was ready. That number of my best grades of my uh, career were in college. High school was tough because I was mm -hmm. hard headed. And then you get to college, and I wanted to, so, you know, number of my, my best grades, and I wanted to transfer. I wanted something else. So the the, tra the the transition from high school to JUCO was, I wouldn't say it was easy, but it wasn't difficult for you because you had a different motivation. Scholastically, it was easy. Okay. That wasn't a big jump. That was fine. Right. It was just the, um, how to motivate myself to... Get up, get your ass up, go to class yeah. on time. Yeah. Mom wasn't there anymore. So it was kind of, that's where I was really growing into my own being like, oh man, what do I have to do to make this work? All right. All right. You have to go here. You got to do that. You got to do that. Because it was just me, mm -hmm. you know, and especially being so far away from home. Oh man, I got to wash clothes. Oh man, I got to buy food. Oh man, where's the store? Where right. is this? Where's the stamps? You know, I was becoming more independent. Right, which you I, really had to take care of yourself. Big time, right. which I loved. So, um, and then again, you're with, you know, 55 other guys that you have something in common with. And that's, you know, come together. Let's win some games. Let's have some fun, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I got away from... The oh let's party let's do this we're here for that we're here for that I'm like nah I got a whole nother whole nother mission come on <laughs> right so when you left ICC you went to you ended up going to Southeast Missouri yep. uh, so SEMO and what was that transition like because you're coming in as a new player but you're not a freshman right um it was well let me tell you this at first it was tough at first because um. I thought I was going to go to Houston first because uh, in JUCO, we, we did our thing and then we were taking our visits. Yeah, right, right. So the coach at the time from Wyoming mm -hmm. called me. He was like, yeah, I like your game. Uh, we want you to come here. We want you to take a visit. Mm -hmm. So I was like, sure. Weeks later, one of my old linemen comes in. Coop, come here. Hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. The coach from Wyoming's leaving. So I'm like, oh, oh my God, what's <laughs> going on? I, so I'm like, okay, where's he going? Maybe maybe I go there too. He went to Houston. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, ah, may, maybe I'm going to Houston now. I ended up tripping to both. But um, at Wyoming, the question was, would you be interested in redshirting? So me So you come in me, as a junior and then redshirt. Th but see, that's the thing. Um, I came, you, they have this thing where it says, uh, two for three or three for two, two for three, uh, where when you go in, let's say I didn't red shirt at Juco. Right. So when I go to Wyoming, I got three years if I red shirt. 
I could do that. Okay. I could go there as a junior, red shirt, you know, so right. and then come in and play my Then be a years. senior and a red shirt senior. Yeah. Right. So me not knowing the system, I'm just thinking, oh, he wants me to red shirt because maybe he doesn't think I'm that good. Mm. It had yeah. nothing that I, I wish I would have known. I wish I would have had somebody say, hey, learn the system. Get bigger, mm-hmm. uh, get stronger. Right, they want you to get time, have time to learn the playbook. You know that true. Get in, learn their system. None of that was said. Strength and conditioning. It nutrition. was just. Would you be interested in redshirting? Yes or no? And me being confident, proud guy at the time, like, no, I'm ready right now. I can play right now. Not thinking all the other stuff in the meanings. But as a recruiter, I feel like he's supposed to explain it. So yeah. if he wants you on his on his team, you that, know, that too. I feel like he should explain it to you because he knows he's dealing with. Young, of course, young adults, but it's still young guys who may not know how it works. That's a good point. Um, may, maybe he was young, too, and didn't know. Who, mm-hmm. who knows? But the answer to his question was, no, I'm ready. So they were like, we'll be in touch with you. And they weren't. <laughs> and then I tripped to Houston, and they just said, well, you know, we got a lot of guys here already, so that's that. And then uh, without even visiting Southeast Missouri State and Cape Girardeau, I told them, yeah, I'll go. And they right. said, full, full scholarship? I said, yeah. I don't know where it is. I don't care. <laughs> full ride was the, the, the goal at that right, time. Right, So I'm like, I'll take it. Go, go. play and don't pay. Yeah, exactly.